Hi, I'm Lucy Baker, the Senior Communications Manager here at Guilford Press. And today I'm joined by Patricia Riesick, who is co-author of Getting Unstuck from PTSD, Using Cognitive Processing Therapy to Guide Your Recovery, which she co-authored with Shannon Wiltsey Sturman and Stephanie Losavio. Um, Dr. Riesick, thank you so much for joining us today um, and, and chatting. So um, congratulations on your new book, Getting Unstuck from PTSD. Um, for those who may not know, can you briefly explain cognitive processing therapy and why it's so helpful for people struggling with uh, post-traumatic stress? Cognitive processing therapy is a form of cognitive behavior therapy with the emphasis on the cognitive. We focus on how you think and how that affects your feelings and your emotions. And what we find is if you change the way you think, it changes the way you feel and the, and the PTSD um, decreases fairly quickly because um, usually people have been stuck um, with one way of thinking about their PTSD. Okay, that's great. Um, in 2016, you co-authored a book for professional clinicians as opposed to this book, which is for everyday readers um, called Cognitive Processing Therapy for PTSD, a Comprehensive Manual. Uh, which has sold more than 55,000 copies. Do you think it was easy, easier for you to write a book for professionals or for everyday readers? Um, and do you think the books could be used together? Um, I'm not sure which is harder. I mean, I'm more accustomed to writing for professionals because that's what I've been doing. I mean, we, we've been writing about PT, about CPT or cognitive processing therapy since uh, the late 80s, early 90s and, and doing training with it and so forth. This was a bit different because we had to get rid of all the psychology jargon that we typically use. Um, speaking psychologist to psychologist. Um, so it was fun to do, actually. It was like um, how we might explain some of these concepts to somebody that we're just talking to. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. And now, the question about whether we can use it with... Um, it can be used with a therapist. They're slightly different. When you work with a therapist, you're working with sessions, one or two sessions a week. Right. And so that book was set out in terms of, you know, all the background information and the theory and the research, and then went in session by session. Um, this book, uh, we're skipping all the research to saying there's been a lot of it. Um, and people can work at their own pace. So um, they're... Um, they're not laid out like sessions. It's set out as chapters and people can move along in the chapters as they feel like they're ready to. That's so good for them. I can see why that would be so appealing to anybody struggling. Um, a few years ago, This American Life did actually an episode on CPT called 10 Sessions. And Ira Glass said, um, his quote was, there's this kind of therapy um, where instead of taking years and years and talking and talking, you just kind of bang it out in 10 to 12 sessions. Um, I think this notion of knocking it out is very appealing to everyday readers. And I know that's not quite um, what it is in actuality, but um, how do you think that your new book, Getting Unstuck from PTSD, helps people achieve this? Well, as I said, people can work at their own pace. Um, so you could knock it out very quickly. We've seen people do this in three weeks. Um, we've seen people do it in as little as a week with a therapist. Um, but there's so many people who can't access therapists. Um, and you're going to get out of it what you put into it. So if you do the exercises and you follow the book along in order and not mm -hmm. just skip through things, you could, quote, knock it out in, in a few weeks. Um, it really depends on how how much they avoid, whether they put it on their shelf for a while or whether they really sit down and work the program. Right, right. Um, well, CPT is considered a gold standard treatment for post-traumatic stress. Um, and typically, I think people think of that as, as um, PTSD as something that goes along with suffering a major trauma, combat, sexual assault, um, et cetera. But getting unstuck from PTSD can also be used for people who have who are struggling with smaller traumas and smaller issues. And I was wondering if you could speak to that, how the book is helpful to people 
um, who are still struggling, but maybe not with quite a such a huge event? Well, the concepts are from cognitive therapy, as I said, and so they could apply to almost anything. Um, and we're not trying to make a diagnosis here when, when we're doing a self-help book. So if somebody feels like it might be helpful to them, the principles are right there. Um, so it, it could apply to a, a minor trauma. It could apply to a, an upsetting event that doesn't meet the criteria in the, in the diagnostic system, um, but could in, in fact be very helpful. Okay. Um, lastly, I was just wondering uh, what you're working on next and, and what you enjoy doing for fun in your time away from, from, from work, from writing. And... Uh, in terms of work, um, working on, uh, we're starting a revision of the 2016 manual, we're updating it um, because things change quickly and we always try to make things more accessible um, and uh, and easier to understand, et cetera. But the, you know, the form of uh, the therapies and who's it been applied to has changed. So we're trying to add in some new chapters and that sort of thing. We're also, um, Stephanie Lasavio and I are also co-authoring a a textbook on PTSD um, for the undergraduate level. Um, oh, so. Great. So again, that's translating yes. higher level stuff into something that an undergraduate could understand. And how about in your free time, any hobbies or? Oh, well, I like to be outdoors as much as possible. Um, I like to walk. I try to walk every day. Um, although on a day like this, when it's pouring rain, that makes it a little yeah. more difficult. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like gardening when it's, you know, when it's feasible and, and living in North Carolina, we have a much longer growing season. There's flowers still blooming out there now. Um, I'm jealous. <laughs> and, uh, and we love to travel, my husband and I. Um, we've gone to many countries, even during the pandemic, we managed to travel. That's great. And yeah, and uh, we'd love to visit our grandchildren. They're out in, in Colorado, so they're fun to visit and hope and we try to meet up other places and so forth. They're at the adorable ages. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for talking with us today. And congratulations on getting unstuck from PTSD. Thank you.